Right then, so exciting day today. First of all, welcome back to my mountaineers and all the people to Mountain Goldfish. I am Jamie. Today, we are going to Premier Aquatics. Back to where it all began. Um, back to one of the first stores that we, we toured, I think. Um, so Stephen Chester is at to upgrade. He's been very busy, he's done very well. Everybody's loving his fish and loving his store and his advice. I think he's a, it's a bit of a success story, I hope, and I hope it continues for him. Uh, but we're going to go down there today, we're going to have a look at the new store, we'll take you guys with us. And I'm taking some goldfish actually, that I have bred um, for Steve to put up in the store. Hopefully if he likes them, I'm sure he will, um, you know we've got good goldfish here. Let's set off, about 45 minute journey, and we will take you along for the ride. And I can't wait to check it out myself, I've not seen it yet, okay? So I'm seeing it for the first time with you. Let's have it. Just pulling into the car park. That's their store company van, pretty cool. And as we go in, there's a quick look at the opening hours. So you can stop that there if you need to see. This is as you first walk into the store. Plenty of tanks for sale. I quite like this one on the end. Okay, there's frozen foods and live foods in the fridges. And this is their selection of, uh, of dry goods, all these different foods, all these different medications. There actually is a really good selection here. Um, I've seen some goldfish food there that I hadn't seen before elsewhere, so that was interesting, I picked that up. Here's all the aquascaping things, so plenty of wood, plenty of stones. I quite like that this is all sort of waist height as well, so you're not having to rummage around on the floor like you are in most places. And then this is this is the game changer really, so here's the aquascaping dojo they've built at Premier Aquatics. Um, you can have a play around, so you can grab your, grab your wood and your rocks and things and, and make your scape here uh, before, before taking it home to your own tank and you can see how it's going to look. Uh, not a very good selection of bettering today. Uh, they normally would have a few more. And let's have a look. Here is the shop mascot, little Stee, little puffer, uh, not for sale. So as you can see, not a bad selection of tropicals. So now we move over to the new cold water section. So some nice bubble eyes in here. Said they were three inches. Uh, they looked a little bit bigger to me actually. They've actually got quite a good selection. Normally in a you know a fish store, unless they specialise in goldfish. 
you get a few comets, a few fantails, if you're lucky, some black moors. Um, but they've tried to they've tried to be a bit different here. They've tried to get the you know the Ryukins, the Arandas, the red caps. Yeah, they're not as rare, but um, they're actually a bit bigger than what you normally see. Now you've got this huge pond right in the middle of the cold water section. So at the minute, there's only some four inch koi in there, but there's some very nice colours, uh, some very nice koi. I'm not a koi expert, of course, but um, but look at the size of the pond. And I know that they are planning on getting some, some more specimen fish in there, some larger koi. Few of these arandas, a couple of them look a bit like a Rosedale aranda. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a couple of those caught my eye. So that's about all we've got time for at the minute. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Um, definitely give us a like, and even more, I would enjoy a comment.